Lenvatinib is an oral drug that targets uh, several different receptors on thyroid cancer tumors, uh, particularly targeting the process of angiogenesis. Uh, so uh, it inhibits key receptors like the vascular endothelial growth factor receptor uh, that's present uh, in the endothelial cells that surround the thyroid cancer cells themselves. In clinical trials, been demonstrated to markedly improve progression-free survival in patients with progressing radioactive iodine refractory differentiated thyroid cancer. So it's to be used in patients who have disease that's metastatic, that's growing at a fairly significant rate despite uh, previous treatments with radioactive iodine. So in the phase three clinical trial, Valendivatinib was compared with placebo or inactive therapy, which at the beginning of the trial was the available standard of care. Patients who were treated with placebo, despite consistent TSH suppression, their progression-free survival was only about three and a half months. In contrast, the patients treated with lenvatinib, uh, also with TSH suppression, uh, had a median progression-free survival of more than 18 months, so a five-fold improvement in progression-free survival. The, that trial is still ongoing, and we're uh, continuing to collect data about overall survival. So at this point, we don't know whether patients treated with lenvatinib live longer uh, than those who are not treated. But uh, on the basis of the progression-free survival improvement, the drug has been approved in the Europe, North America, and Japan for treating patients with progressive metastatic disease. There are side effects, uh, as one would expect with any medication, and particularly those that target angiogenesis. Most common side effects included hypertension, uh, which can sometimes be difficult to treat and require multiple medications, uh, as well as dose adjustments of lenvatinib itself. Proteinuria, uh, protein in the urine, is also a common side effect. Uh, others that we see commonly with these types of medications include diarrhea, fatigue, weight loss and decreased appetite. And sometimes these become significant reasons why patients have to actually stop the medication. Even though we may be treating them with progressively lower doses, they still may not be able to tolerate the lenvatinib uh, and have to finally discontinue therapy. About one out of seven patients uh, treated with the drug had to stop because of side effects.